DJ's made us his own version of macaroni and cheese ice cream today on Box Mac. You know the internet. I do. I is know it. I've read on it. On fire many weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> about a mac and cheese ice cream. And of course, no. whenever there's mac and cheese news, fans just have to send We it to hear us. about it. Very intriguing. There's not really, I think what the closest place that has is like New York. Yeah, and we weren't gonna take a road trip to New York for ice cream that is regarded generally as weird. So I, I got a brain worm yeah. when I heard this. I have an ice cream maker that I bought immediately after I got married 11 years ago. Yep. Didn't use it for 11 years. Really? You've never used it? And I saw that ice cream and I was like, I gotta try it. Yeah. So first I made a chocolate ice cream. Alton Brown's recipe, good eat. Very famous Food Network personality. Just dump one and a half ounces, by weight please, of cocoa powder into the bottom of your saucepan. Chocolate ice cream is so good, and I thought, you know what I need to do is replace that cocoa with cheese powsers. <laughs> cheese powsers, 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 and is the box bag real? These are the T Public stickers. I prepared some B roll footage. This oh, will be wonderful. like an EJ review without jokes. Original recipe calls for cocoa. I thought three cheese, cause I like the flavor of three cheese better. Sure. It's, but the color of the original is a little bit more vibrant. That's right. So I decided to mix the two. So I'm okay. using two cheddar packets here. And then I put them in a saucepan, one cup of half and half, overheat. I kind of made a roux, just mm -hmm. like you would a yeah. mac and cheese. Yeah. So that's a total of three cups of half and half. And then I put in one cup of heavy cream. Bring that up to a, a simmer. So then I have to separate eggs. Do you have a, a method for separating eggs? My favorite one is actually to use a water bottle, emptied water bottle, squeeze it, and then put it over the yolk and let it go. Yeah, I kind of just do that thing where you just crack it and just, juggle it in yep. each shell. So eight egg yolks. I didn't know how many eggs <laughs> were in ice cream, but I guess there's a lot. Yeah, well, normal ice cream doesn't have eggs, so this is definitely a French style. Icy cheesy dessert like mm -hmm. goes back so oh, long. Cheesecake, of course, is a classic, and this isn't that far off conceptually. And then we're gonna do a nine ounces of white sugar, yeah. and I'm gonna put that in a little bit at a time and make that nice and yeah, like smooth, velvety and um, smooth, awesome. ribbon like. Yeah. And then we're gonna temper those eggs. Put mm -hmm. the hot cheesy roux in there a little bit at a time until about one third of the mixture was in there, and then I dump the egg mixture back in. Yeah. So it should be tempered. So not unlike some of the mac and cheeses that we've made. Yeah. Some tempered eggs. Absolutely. Makes it delicious and creamy. Then I have to get the temperature up to 170 degrees. I think that's mostly to kill bacteria. Mm. Also to thicken it. So now, yeah, 170. We don't want salmonella ice cream. And then you wait until it covers the back of the spoon like that. Pour it into a bowl. Let it cool for a few hours. Mm. Here's something interesting. So the ice cream maker is a Cuisinart ice cream maker. Yeah. The bowl that you use is kind of like a like an ice pack. Yep. So you have to put it in the freezer. Oh, okay. So the next day, you put the frozen bowl in the ice cream mixture, you pour the goo into that bowl, which is like an ice pack. You turn it on and it just churns. And you do that for 20 minutes, you form the crystals or whatever. And then afterwards, it's nice and smooth. It's, it's like soft yeah, serve. soft serve. So you could of. eat that. You could put it in a pipette bag, actually, yeah. and like kind of make a soft serve ice cream. Then I packed it up. Mm. I got these off of Amazon. These yeah, little, they're these cute. Little, almost like Ben and Jerry's containers. And then I put my stickers on. This looks delicious, EJ. During that whole process, I didn't taste it at all. I didn't even want my brain to process it. I would have adjusted two things in your recipe. More sugar, because there's a lot of salt and that cheese powder. And I probably would have melted a little butter into it for direct butter flavor alongside ah. the cheese. I, I was thinking because there's so much cream in half and half, yeah. maybe it would be enough. It'll definitely be creamy, no question. But that looks like ice cream. It certainly does. It, it makes sense, you know, dairy and cheese. It's not like mac and cheese candy canes. <laughs> it's weirdly good. It's very salty. Throw some table sugar on it. <laughs> it's kind of reminding me of a caramel, like salted kind of ice cream. Yeah, it does have a kind of a cheesecake-y vibe to a it. A little bit, it's subtle. The cheese is distinctly craft though. I actually like that. Like I couldn't eat a lot of it. No. How much does it evoke mac and cheese? 
Not much. To Not be much. A little hint, and I can definitely taste the salt in it, which is kind of nice. I'm a, I'm a very much a salty person. Yeah, me too. I think that if it had something in it, a fudge swirl or something like that, it would be delicious. As a plain kind of standalone ice cream, it is very interesting and is clearly of excellent quality. All right, now I get to try. Absolutely. Texture and consistency is. It's, it's perfect. The texture is wonderful. I think it's great. Mm. Yes, it's it's one of those like salted caramel type flavors, meets cheesecake. It's awesome. Yeah. And yes, it would if it had something in it, sure. Yeah. But it is a good base ice cream. Absolutely. If this had um, walnuts in it, I think it would be fantastic. Um, or cashews, or yep. almonds, or graham cracker. Or uncooked pasta. <laughs> or uncooked pasta. No, it's awesome, EJ. Dare we try? I have some unsalted cashews that we could add Throw in, it in for Throw a it test. Because yes, the, the salty it is high salt. John was right. There, there ain't nothing wrong with salt in your ice cream. No, back is salty. I wish you all could try this. It's very good. Delicious fresh cashews. I think you need a candied nut. Yeah, yeah I think you're right. A very good ice cream, EJ. Delicious. Well, I, I'd say that was a success. Absolutely. I'm, I'm like so shocked that it's <laughs> anywhere near uh, edible. Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> it's really good. Well, EJ, next time on Box Back, we're gonna have to those craft dinner mix-ins. Multi-part episodes coming up next time on Box Mac. Macaroni and cheese candy cane. We were sent this by like 17 different fans. See, this is exactly why they made this product was because everybody would share it and go, ew! It's clearly a product not made for actual purchase.